Uh, everybody wasn't always nice to Bischoff, though. In August, Paul E. cuts a promo on WCW from the ECW arena. Uh, he cuts it on WCW, Bischoff, and Turner, and essentially declares war, whatever that means, and gets his fans to chant, Fuck you, Bischoff. Wow. Of course, Scorpio, Sabu, Benoit, Guerrero, and Malenko had all been working dates with ECW, uh, and with them now signing with WCW, that's over. So Paul's hot about it. And he himself has an interesting history with WCW. I'm sure we'll cover sometime in the future. Uh, Tony, though, we all know Bischoff is a guy who likes to compete. Do you remember his reaction to hearing about these rants from Paul and the anti-Bischoff chants at ECW house shows? Yeah, I remember his reaction being being good. We're getting exposure on their shows. Right. Uh, so I think Eric uh, had no problems with that at all. Eric, you know, in, in Eric's position being the boss negotiating contracts... Uh, you can see where he would have a lot of heat. But the fact that we went in, I guess we as a company, or he went in and took all those stars and brought them over, got ECW chanting, you know, fuck Bischoff or whatever, goes back to something we talked about on an earlier podcast that uh, don't mention the enemy, just try to put yourself over. Well, they were mentioning us, and uh, that was good for us probably. That drew more attention to us, and I know Eric liked that. 